Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about going online with your PLC. Most of this should be review at this point because we've been through downloading and installing RS Logics, uh, configuring RS Links for serial and Ethernet communications, uh, uploading your program and merging comments with it, and downloading your program. And I'll put links to all of those in the description. First, how do you know whether you're offline or online? The most obvious way is with the online toolbar. And you can see right now it says offline. Also, this ladder symbol right here will be spinning when it's communicating, and there are green lines that go down both sides of the ladder code when you're online. Up until now, I've told you to use comms and then syscoms to upload and download your programs, so, but you can also simply go to the arrow beside offline and click go online. Now you can see it says remote run. You can see our ladder is spinning and we have green lines down both sides of our ladder. And that lets us know that we're, that we're online. Also note that the green lines going down the ladder does not mean that this rung is being scanned. It simply means that this rung is in the program and you are online with it. We'll get into more of why that matters in later videos. Now a few problems that you may run into while you're going online. If you try to go online and you see a screen such as this one that says no response from processor at selected path node, then it means you need to check your connection and your communications configuration. Is your cable plugged in? Don't look at me like I'm crazy. I've spent more hours than I'll ever admit trying to figure out why I can't connect to a PLC and it comes out I forgot to plug the cable into the PLC. Do you have the right cable? For example, Allen Bradley 1747 CP3, which is used to connect to a Slick 500, looks identical to a 2711 NC13 that's used to connect to a panel view, but they're wired differently, so one will not work with the other. Next is, do you have the right driver selected? Here's where I know it's easier to click the arrow beside the offline notification to connect to your PLC, but you can learn a lot more by going to Sys and then Syscoms. And here we can see exactly the path that we're using to go online. And we can see that right now we have a red X on it. Now, our red X is because I pulled the plug. And as soon as I plug this back in, you're gonna see we're ready to go online. If you can't get past the red X, then you need to go back to our videos on either configuring your ethernet driver or configuring your serial driver, depending on how you're connecting to the PLC. I've got links to both of those in the description. The other thing that can happen is, let's say you think that you have the right program for your PLC. You go to the system communication, you browse to your PLC, and you go online, and you see this no matching file dialog. And what this means is you can connect to the PLC, but the program that you had open was not the correct program that was in the PLC. And that mainly goes off the processor name and the checksum. And other thing it'll do, it'll, it'll give you files that have matching processor names down here. Now the one thing I don't like about this is it only gives you ones in your documents folder, which honestly I don't store anything in my documents folder. So you'll need to use the browse button and go find your RSS file. Now if you don't have it, then you're going to need to use this upload use file. And we have a whole video on doing that and merging your comments from another program with it. So I'll put a link to that in the description also. Hope this video has been helpful. Next, we're going to start going through how a PLC actually scans and executes its code, updates its inputs, its outputs. Then we're going to start to get into the meat of instructions. Till next time. Um, 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 okay. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.